<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Around the Mic on SoJo 104.9. I'm Heather DeLuca with Social Spring Gonzalez that and Mike me. Richmond, of course, of The Mike Show. And I don't know. Sorry. It's Friday. It's been a humid week. Yeah. I just sort of feel all... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike put on Heather's aviators, and the only thing I thought was, here I am! <laughs> <laughs> like a hurricane! Oh my gosh. Oh, so, man. my husband those bought those, these mirrored aviators on the Amazon Prime sale this past oh, Monday. I Amazon heard Prime about Day. That. He yes. fell for that, did he? Yes, because he Prime also Day. Bought this blanket that claimed to be the world's softest blanket, and he got it for like three ninety nine, and um, it is not. It so feels it's worth like the price. Burlap. Ew. Is your husband? I hate a, the word burlap. Is your husband a QVC shopper too? No, that's me. Cause oh, I, and I don't really shop. I just like to watch, but on occasion I do pick up the phone. I'm sorry. It just looks like Mr. Three Hundred Five is staring at me. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen that episode of South Park when Cartman becomes, it's like a spoof on the TV show Cops and he's right. riding his big wheel around like dressed Respect like a cop. That's exactly what, I looked in the mirror, I put those on this morning because Sean bought them for himself, yeah. but they're too small for his head. So I put them on, I was like, they're kind of badass. They so are, I'm gonna, I just don't, it's I'm gonna rock them. But they look way better on him though, I can't see his eyes. So it's I don't know. He looks like Pitbull. I can see That's his right. eyes. It's kind of freaking. You can out. tell Pitbull and me apart because my shirt is not tucked in. Yep, that is true. Oh. Pitbull yeah. has to tuck in his shirts. Yeah. You're usually tuck. a shirt tucker inner, though. Usually, yes. Yeah, well, it's Friday. I don't know. We're all feeling kind of feisty. I've already fallen on my butt this morning, so I think if I could survive that, I uh, survive put the rest in minimal Friday. effort today. So that's how oh, my Friday's going. Good to know. <laughs> tell that to your boss. <laughs> I just uh, met in my appearance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Like, where are the buns heading? It's that's like good, falling, that's good. It's falling to the right. Okay, so yesterday I got into a discussion uh, with one of our colleagues here, Pete mm -hmm. Thompson, who was on our ESPN station. Okay, bar or body wash? I just want to get a vibe. What do you use in the shower? I used to use body wash. I switched over to bar. Okay. Mike. Bar. Okay, bar. I use bar. Okay. But just because I use this like special soap that has like shea butter. It's got like exfoliators in right. it. Um, body washes. I don't know if you know this. Uh, a key ingredient in most body washes is the same ingredient they put in dishwasher detergent and in dish detergent. Mm -hmm. So I find it to be extremely like stripping to my skin. So right. unless I like feel like really like smelling like an orchid for the day or something like yeah. I skipped the body wash See, um, for me I had read an article that Millennials are killing the whole bar soap industry and because I hate any slander against Millennials I started using bar soap okay gotcha <laughs> um, but you'll show them that's right I started using bar and I soap. said why Pete why why this question do you use body wash and he says yeah and I said Listen, my husband uses one of those combo things that's uh, shampoo slash body like wash, like one. an axe or something, or yeah. like, um, I don't know if he applies it with his hand or if he uses a washcloth, okay. but all I know is that if I open that shower curtain and I see him using a poofy loofah, the romance is over. Really? Why? So my question is, is it weird for a guy to use a poofy loofah. No, I think it's fine. Like I just have a visual in my head of a guy using a poofy loofah. Right. I'm like, uh-uh. Do you mean the, the natural no, off-white? No, I don't mean like the puffy, no. cheap ones that no, you can get from the dollar No, I'm talking about store. the ones that are shaped like flowers. The plastic yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. Not like the yeah, that's a little. I, not uh, like the legitimate loofah, like the, the loofah sponge like right. you would get, but the loofah poof. Right. Yeah, the the loofah loofah. Because I used to use the loofah. Like, You're a girl. Right. But my little brother also uses a loofah sort of deal because Axe has their own version. They do. Of a man loofah? Of a man loofah. Is it so, smaller and grayer? It's, it's black. Because I don't want him using... Okay. Take any but, female product, make it black, yeah, and a guy fine. will use it. Except, okay. except for two things. Is that washcloths <laughs> freak me out to actually clean yourself with because in my family we use washcloths until you're like 
three. And then other than that, it's called a paño, which is what you clean the whole house with. And typically the washcloth will probably last for years. So in my head, it just has a bunch of germs on it. So I don't like washcloths. I also don't like loofahs anymore after finding out how much germs it has. Oh on my it. God. They are bacterial playgrounds. Yeah. So yeah. both of them loofahs. have been killed for well, me. I don't, I don't really it. care about if they're safe or not, or if they're healthy. Mm -hmm. I just, if I open that shower curtain and I'm I see my husband it. using a poof loofah, that means that's he's it. scrubbing. I'm into it. How, like it. how about a hair dryer? Is a guy using a hair dryer? <laughs> is that effeminate? You know, it's funny, my have... ex-boyfriend used to do that. I actually dated a few guys that do that with a blow dryer, and it doesn't weird me out. Never, ever dated a guy that used a blow dryer. Yeah, and they have the tiny little brush to... Back. He used a flat iron once because he has curly hair. No. Yeah. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. No. Uh, okay. I just wanted... So it's not... <laughs> Heather likes her man manly. Right. So I it's guess not unmanly right. to use a poof loofah. Do you think they can make them more... Male friendly, like put yeah, sports is. teams on them or something. Well, that's what can they change the shape of it? Like make, I don't know. Make them more abrasive. Make the make a loofah. Every time it rubs on you. Make a loofah out of sandpaper and let's see how you do in the shower. Add some time. nails, tiny little fine nails. A little cord on it. If you can make that out of leather or yes. or Wait, burlap. I would want that. I don't I know. I would actually want a loofah made out like with a leather strap. <laughs> that would be nice. I like that idea. Vegan leather, of course. Of it would course. have to be because it's in water. I'm right. good with a washcloth, but the <laughs> guy using the poofy loofah, I don't know why. I just, Wait, so did it you turns ask, me off. Did you ask Pete if he uses a washcloth loofah or Oh, I or feel hand? so bad. He uses the body wash and the poofy loofah. I love it. How about if he I used the it. poofy loofah on you? That's hot. Okay, if I'm in the shower, <laughs> that's a whole other story. That's, hot. that's a whole other story. What if you're injured and can't wash yourself so i need to get a sponge bath yes he can uh, use it on me i just don't want to see him using it on himself now okay. if if he is injured and he's in the bathtub and i'm using the poofy loofah on him that's fine yes okay i think the poofy loofah we'll that. needs yeah. to be shared no do not use my poofy loofah no. on your body <laughs> no 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 needs to be like shared together okay and then it then it's then the romance is back. And you can't use your hands. You can only use the poofy. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where See, this is going. This is going to another topic of showering together, which is the weirdest thing for me. I don't know why. Because, okay, so. Like if there's no nookie involved, it's weird to shower together? Yeah. Because, but what if like, you have one of those awesome showers that have the dual heads and you just go in there okay. and do I kind of, yeah, but I want I remember, my personal space. I took a shower with my boyfriend and... It was just sorry, strange. Sorry, Springs mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> mom, that never happened. That was never a thing. <laughs> but anyway. Surely hypothetical. Completely hypothetical. So <laughs> it came a time to, like, wash our areas. And we I, we were washing each other. And then he tried to on me. And I was like, no. No. What are you doing? And then he suggested I, like, wash. No. No. And then there's couples who shave each other over there. Oh, no. Okay. No. no. Now we're getting into Cosmo just like weird stuff. that as a way to get sexy. And I'm like, no. That's not hot. And get away from me yeah. with that razor. Do you know how it's taken me this long, 30 years of shaving in my life to perfect so that I don't exactly. nick myself. I'm like, not giving that razor to anyone else. don't understand the angles that we are doing. So, no, you are not allowed to do that for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the thing I, I have against showering with another person. Okay. Unless there's nothing involved, then you yeah, yeah, I like really, tubby time. You're not tubby really supposed to be thing. showering. <laughs> the what? I mean, you're not really supposed to, It's not no, about no, showering. No, no, But sometimes there's no time and you really do need to shower and just go. There's, there's that, plenty that of That never happens. <laughs> Wake up there's, 10 minutes earlier. There's like, there's like. You know who you're talking to here? <laughs> there's jump in, clean the parts that matter, leave the shower running, and I'll be right in there. Yeah, this is why I lock my bathroom door when I'm inside. It's so like. no one comes into the shower? Yeah, yeah I don't like that. Do you want to take a shower together or it's tubby time? usually means there's other activities going on tubby time yeah tubby yeah. time that's that's when you get out the uh that's when it's a bath, bath not a shower i'm yeah. not gonna lie i thought of two telly tubbies in the bathtub <laughs> 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 and Poe just washing do, do, each do, other do, off do, do, do. <laughs> oh jeez. oh where my mind goes oh i don't know that was uh, a funny topic okay yeah, i thought so we yeah. got into this last night so before i walked out so you're a man out. and you use a loofah and you're single you let me know. I'll accept you. Okay, that's good. I mean, I accept everyone. Really, I do. I just, it's going to turn me off personally. So. What Heather doesn't know 
Well, right. What? Won't, won't harm so, right. He just, does. Do you think Sean uses a loofah? Have you seen a loofah in sight? There's a loofah in my shower. I don't use Has it. Has it ever been wet? So the next, the right. So I'm going to check tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check tomorrow. Because there's nothing worse than when you grab your loofah and it's already wet. You're like, oh. Because did or, you ever try to put the body body wash in your hand and then rub like it that. on your face? I feel it, like, like I'm not slides cleaning all myself. Off. No, I'm not cleaning myself. Or what you do is remove the loofah. Don't tell your husband about it. Then see if he goes, hey, where's the loofah? Uh -huh. Or, you know, I'll smell it if it smells like his body wash, and that'll mm -hmm. be a sure sign. Huh. Okay, uh, I will follow up next week. Yes, I will please. let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens what when I see think? him again? I'm going to look him in the eye like, Same thing that I'm thinking. Uh-oh. Yeah. Like, ah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes Sean. And oh, my gosh. Party. I feel slightly faintish because I haven't eaten yet today. I don't quite think I have vertigo like wife Karen. Oh, boy. But I've had it. I'm hangry. I had it while I was driving, and I don't know. I don't know what brought it on that day. I was told an iron deficiency, but I was near where the Harley Dawn Diner is on the Black Horse Pike. Yes. Landing-ish area. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at the sign for the Harley Dawn Diner, and I, I watched it go like this. In my head, it was like the sign rotated, like the whole world just went woo, was about upside ask, down. And it's like a Twin Peaks episode. And there was a car coming on the other side of the road, so I just immediately cut the wheel to the right and went over and sat on the side of the road until I got myself back together. But it took a, a good it's couple scary. minutes. Vertigo is scary. There was a swimmer, an Olympic but swimmer. I can't same remember as her name. Right? That's completely no, lightheaded different. is like. The, like it's you get yes. dizzy, but it's not vertigo. Vertigo that's happened to me. Vertigo, it dizzy. feels like you're looking at a TV screen and somebody just takes it and like rotates it 90 degrees or like 180 degrees. I the whole thought, world turns upside down. I always thought vertigo was was permanent, sort of like Lyme disease. Once you get it, you can't get rid of it. But no, apparently there was that's, a sw that's there was true. a swimmer. Um, I can't remember her name. She competed in the Olympics in the 80s, but she had it really, really bad. And um, it affected her on a dive once, and she actually smacked her head on, on the platform. Yeah. Um, huh. And uh, she continued to swim, but it's a big thing with swimmers because the water. They're, they jump, and they're constantly rotating and, you know, trying to keep... And that's just not normal. Yeah. And then you're in the water all the time, and you're hitting making such impact with the water water gets lodged in your ears yeah. and so that messes with your equilibrium that's what, that's what it's all about i was told it, it can be also caused by like dehydration and an iron deficiency See, but i'm anemic to, anyway so thanks to hitchcock's vertigo i really yeah. thought it was just fear of heights like an extreme fear of heights so when i saw was started watching arrested development yeah. and Liza minnelli's character yeah. suffers from vertigo i'm like wait but she's on the ground I don't well get it. i think when you there are people that get it when they stand on something high and right. then they look down and things start to cork yeah. through you know so that's the same type of thing okay um i guess it comes in many different forms but Ooh, that sounds scary but i I'm basically the moral of the story is i need a bagel <laughs> 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 I can use a jalapeno bagel right now. Yes, the, uh, cheese. Mm. So if you have vertigo and are standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon, would everything seem normal then? Would they cancel each other out? Would the canyon look like the sky? <gasps> Whoa. Talk it just blew about my mind right freaky. there. I don't know because my, my dad's an artist, mm -hmm. so he painted this painting for me that when you... Um, it's like mossy green and then turquoise blue. So when you turn it one way, it looks like you're on the land looking at the sky. But when it look, turns the other way, it looks like you're in the water looking towards the land. So it is really all about perspective. Whoa. So like every every six months or so, I'll, I'll turn it just right. to change the perspective. That's and, really cool. Yeah, and you see it completely differently. So hmm. Every six months, I rotate my mattress. <laughs> oh, I hear you. You know what's really hard do to do with when you have a pillow top? You can only that's what we have. rotate it that way. That's, we used to flip the mattress. That's what I do. Yeah, you yeah, know, we, we can't flip ours. We have to rotate it, which means we have to move our um, bedside tables around. Also, we have to switch those every six months. Okay, we got to move Why? from the left sounds, to the right because I don't want all true. my stuff being in the uh, nightstand over there. And wife Karen stuff. So when we. You're only rotating the mattress, not the right, bed. Right, but we have to switch sides. Why? Oh, oh I should have mentioned. We, right, we, I'm we've like, got okay, one of those. Well, you have we have that. one of those mattresses that uh, oh. her side is for her. Oh, thing. geez. What do you have, a sleep number? No, I wish because then we wouldn't have to rotate it. We could just right, adjust. Right. But we've got one of those pillow top things right. where hers is. Oh. 
hard, mind soft. Oh, okay. wow. Now that makes sense because okay, because I, I was like, you were "What the with hell are you now. doing?" Yeah, so when um, so we have to switch sides of the bed when we rotate it, and then I got to switch nightstands. I got to move the nightstands too. See, I always know something's happening with my mom because she actually flips her room the way you just described. Like she'll flip it, so the bed will move. Everything on the right will move to the left. Everything on the left will move to the right, and it'll yep. just change completely. They don't tell you that when you're buying the mattress that you got to sw- flip the that entire room. Like a, yeah, well, I don't do that, so. But really, a soft mattress? Like, you like it soft? I am soft. I, I don't. It's that thing where you lay down and then the little computer tells you what you need, mm. what's best for you. Oh. Yeah, that's why I want to get one of those Tempur Pedics that just conforms to your body. Yeah, if I had to do it again, I would go with the. Uh, My mom has a memory number. phone number one. thing. Some really? Kind of thing. I don't we like st- memory phone. Yeah. I don't know why. We stayed in a hotel that had the uh, sleep number yeah. thing in it. It was it delightful. Was nice. It was delightful. I imagine it nice, but I wouldn't know how to act. I would constantly change the number. Well, here's the thing. This is what happens. Well, that's the good thing about it. You can adjust it. Mine's 305. But this is what... <laughs> I really cannot take you seriously. <laughs> I'm not taking the on. sunglasses off this whole time, and like, I, I, it's working for me, so... Um, it's weirding it, me out. With mattresses, it's the same thing when I shop for a pair of shoes. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. They feel It feels good in the store. And then when I get home, I'm like, oh, not so much, you know? Not so comfortable. I hate... Well... There, there's a pair of shoes that look amazing when I wear like wear them on. So you know the picture I took in Miami of the long black dress, uh-huh, those uh-huh. heels. They look great in every outfit. They're horrible to walk in. Well, duh. But when I, but when I bought them in the store, it felt amazing. Of I course. I walked around in my house completely of fine. Wore them out. First three hours. No, I'm kidding. First two hours started to like kind of hurt, but like the normal hurt that heels always feel like. Here's the thing. Torture. You don't wear them for like two hours walking around the store. You you wear wear them. You walk around up and down. Mm-mm. You know, maybe for thirty minutes, like I do, because I can't make a decision in life. But you don't wear them for that long, like around your house. I bet you, if you wore them for two hours walking around your house or standing still, like you do at a bar, where right. all the weight is going on the ball of your foot. God, they're awful. Yeah, that's how they get you. But I did hear a tip from Gigi Hadid, supermodel, that says if you want to be able to wear heels all the time. You just have to constantly wear heels all the oh, time. Oh, yeah. Because I don't understand how the Kardashians <laughs> wear heels every single day, all day. But they also have... They it was probably just have... Not like an obvious thing. They probably, probably have the custom inserts. <laughs> Spoken like a, a fashion model. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to wear heels all the time, you have to wear heels well, all I, the time. Well, I really did go through <laughs> a phase where that's I would not like wear flats. The only place I wore sneakers was to the gym or like flip-flops to the beach. And did your feet hurt? And then when I started... I remember the first pair of flats that that I got, and I freaking loved them because they were just so cute. Um, how bad my legs hurt, I heard and my that. feet hurt because I wasn't like my feet weren't arched. Right, and that's when I went and got my my foot printed. Uh huh. Um, a lot of different sports. Oh my god, I have, I have splinters all in my hand from falling on the deck this morning. I just noticed that's that. What you Sorry, get feeding the squirrels. That's what I get. Um, but you can actually go and get an imprint of your foot at most places like Foot Locker or Foot Action. I don't even know what kind of champion. Is that still open? I, think, I don't know what kind of I think so. I don't know. sports stores are open yeah. anymore. Or, um, on, or on the beach in the wet sand. Yeah, on the beach you can do it. Or you just wet your foot and then step on, con- <laughs> step on construction paper. Yeah. So you can see the outline of your foot. Like okay. I know that I have a really, really high arch. Like my foot comes... Okay. In. Like, I have so a high end step. Feet. So does that mean I can never wear heels? Like, would heels be torture for me? They're probably more problematic for you, whereas I am I feel more comfortable on the ball of balls of my feet because my arch is high. That would make sense. So, the, you know those cute strappy heel, like the sandal-looking heels that mm-hmm. everyone wears? Mm-hmm. I can't wear those then. Because that's probably why they just feel awful by the end of the night. Yeah. Because my big, flat feet. I also have large feet for those of you listening. How do you feel in heels, Mike? Uh, <laughs> the closest thing that I have to heels are my boots, ca- uh, cowboy boots. Yeah. Um, and I put on, I have three pair of cowboy boots. I, I, I don't wear them too often, but on my birthday, I wore my newest pair and I hadn't worn them for a long time. And they felt comfortable and everything, but the next day, my back was Totally oh my out. gosh, don't you hate when that happens? Yeah. Like your lower back, and that's what it's from. It's like you realize how poor how poor like, 
the stru- or the same thing like you said, like, like you just haven't standing. worn them for yeah. a while. Yeah, so like I wasn't how it shifts used- the weight of your body. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't See, used to the my lower back angle. never hurts. For me, it's always my hamstrings and my quads that hurt like crazy. The and next it's my day. lower, it's my lower back, same as Mike, like that. Yeah. And a lot of times, too, if I like my riding boots that I wear during the winter time, mm-hmm. because with boots especially, and and you said you'd had those boots for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, when you get a pair of boots, uh, the area around the ankle, the more you walk in them, begins to stretch. Mm-hmm. And that compromises the stability of your uh, ankle. And that's what causes your back to hurt. So the riding boots are sense. actually real, real, like podiatrists don't recommend riding you know yeah, boots or if you get one get ones that's really fitted to mm-hmm. your ankle because they do stretch so that's and why uggs, so skinny. uggs uggs are so bad because there's no ankle st- there's no stability there's no ankle that's stability. why you see cowboys riding horses so much because it's bad to be walking <laughs> around to them and because like if you had a horse to ride why would you walk like, good point duh. very valid point no i'm just thinking of shoes i was hungry now i'm thinking of shoes i'm still hungry still need that bagel um okay. yeah so like I have like oh. legit no idea where this podcast I was also going. Brought this up because oh, this is what I'm you. staring at for the last 30 minutes of this podcast. Mr. Worldwide, it's a picture of Mr. Worldwide. He really is not that bad looking. So spring would be if we were naming ourselves after area codes. Spring would be Miss. Are you two one two? You're a nine one seven girl. Nine one seven. Okay. Which hold, that's just not attractive. Hold that thought. Is he taking selfies? Yes. Okay. So what happens when you have a celebrity in the? <laughs> this is so. I I had no idea this would be the like the popular prop of the morning. Are you done there? No. What is the face like? Please go into Wawa and pretend to be. He does that little thing with his mouth. Pitbull. Yes, he does. Oh, where he goes like this. Yeah, he's good though. Wait, could you please do that? Just pretend that you're Pitbull and you need I don't know, a hoagie. And you have to speak exactly the way he does. Should I go into Starbucks and when they ask for my name, say Pippa? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. Can please? you film it, please? <gasps> and your name? Mr. 305. <laughs> Mr. Just Worldwide. Mr. 305. <laughs> please. Put Worldwide. I'm stuck in your shirt. Though. I'd be Ms. Yeah, no, I Ms. 609. Because I actually <laughs> did have a 609 <laughs> when I was little. There's an O in the middle. What's I guess your- when I was in high school. The 609 split off to the 856, and then I, I wasn't a 609 anymore. It's like that episode oh, no. of Sex in the City yeah, so she where became Carrie becomes. She, she became a new area coach. She's like, I'm a 212 girl. Um, See, I always thought that Then I was became weird an 856 girl. Because they called her a 212 girl, and 212 typically is a business number. Uh, not. It is now. It is now. They reserve the two one twos for business numbers, and they they New York d- they designated as yes to two other many area, area codes. codes. I know too many. All right, so I'm a Ms. Six oh nine. I like that. You're a Ms. Nine one seven. I don't like that. And Mike, where were you born, or or what area code do you identify with? The one from Georgia, the one right. from yeah. I identify as a four oh four. Mister four oh four. The page not found number. Four oh four. Isn't that like stuff you clean your house with? Downtown Atlanta. The 404. You know that you you and your trap background. Tra- what? Trap music background. The Spring has a trap music background. Oh, I like trap music. We were talking about that. You do? <laughs> You've got a special kind of de- special kind of brain, trap girlfriend. Trap music is popular now. Oh god, I can't. The new wave. It hurts my head. It gives me a headache. <laughs> um, okay, does anyone else have anything to entertain our podcast? subscribers with oh is that what we're supposed to be doing i have no idea there was like literally no plan no structure to this today i think it went fantastic so thanks for listening this was a friday podcast so is it um is it manly for a man to use a poof loofah no let us know head to sojo1049.com take the poll um you can also follow us on instagram or follow mike now on instagram to see photos of him looking like pitbull and mirrored aviator glasses maybe maybe i maybe. still challenge you to heather's, go to starbucks heather's aviator glasses uh, i don't know i think they're <laughs> yours now and we will talk to you next week on around the mic i'm heather deluca mike richmond social spring gonzalez can be heard Hello. weekdays 5 30 to 10 during the mic show on sojo 1049 we promise we'll do better for you next week well we'll actually try <laughs> darling darling <laughs> <laughs>